All right, here is the PS Plus Extra Day 1. I was waiting to see the trophies for Dave the Diver. This game has been out for a little while already on Switch. Those guys, they were graced with it early. I was very interested in playing this one. It's finally coming out on PlayStation. Thank the Lord. And as of recording this video, there is a trophy guide out for it even before the game even came out. We got it here. It's on a website called Republica DG, which is a Brazilian website. But thanks to Google Translate, we can take a look at this trophy guide right here. Now we can take a look and see. So scrolling down here, we got ourselves three out of 10, 25 to 30 hours, one missable trophy. And it says here, do you have free roaming after resetting? I think that's just a weird way to say, uh, is free roam available after the game is done? And it says, yes, but a trophy is for forfeitable. Everything else can be obtained after completing the campaign. That's probably that one missable trophy. Breaking it down, it says simply to enjoy the game. Uh, okay. So you can play it as is, according to this guide here. And there are things you do want to prioritize when you do play so you can reduce the grind. It says the nursery is very important to reduce the grind of getting an employee to level 20. Remember to breed the following species, Titan, Kangulo, Harlequin, Grouper, Coral Trout, and every species of shark you can find. Okay. Then it also says here, whenever a vortex appears at night, prioritize the vortex. The mission appears again, but it takes a few days and this will delay your platinum. Okay, so it's a, it's kind of like a RNG event. Uh, whenever a VIP appears, make it a priority to collect the ingredients he requested. It appears again, but it takes a few days and it will de delay your platinum. So you got stuff that kind of like comes out of nowhere, whether it's like a vortex or a VIP person that comes to your restaurant and you want to make sure you take care of those things as they pop up because that will help make your um, platinum experience quicker. And then down here, it says you will only need two legendary weapons, the mortal rifle, the latest variation of the underwater rifle, and the steel net launcher, the latest variation of the net launcher. I don't recommend spending your resources to improve others. Okay, so there is kind of like a, a, a weapon upgrading uh, part to it. Okay. Uh, and then here, here's where it gets interesting. There is a missable trophy in a story mission in chapter six. When you see the food on the ground, eat it. And that pertains to the food eater trophy where it says in chapter six that you have to stealthily invade the sea blue base. The path is very linear and on it, you will come across a military ration. Eat the food, otherwise you will have to start a new save. That's a bummy way to miss a trophy and have to play the game all over again but i guess you can't go back to this mission once you're done and you have to be very very careful here uh it's highly missable in my opinion um just make sure you eat that military ration uh when you get to that part of chapter six or else uh you're gonna have to play the story all over again and chapter six is uh, pretty far into the game as I understand it and then it says here While not missable when you arrive at the glacial area keep an eye out for a piece of semi-transparent ice You must break this ice to obtain Mjolnir Cool Mjolnir is in here. Don't forget to pay attention to this because if it appears during the main missions You will reduce hours of farming using it. Okay. Plus, I also think there's a trophy uh, associated with Mjolnir. It is called God of Thunder. Good name for that. Capture a fish using Mjolnir. And it says, unlike other melee weapons, it is not found in a golden chest. Mjolnir appears inside an almost transparent crystal. That's what it was talking about. And you will need to break that crystal, get the legendary hammer. And then you can use it to help you capture 
a fish. And it says here, it is worth noting that the spawn is extremely rare. So always keep an eye on the map in case the crystal appears. The crystal has several spawn points, most of which are on the right side of the map. And yes, he can even spawn inside the cave on the upper and lower right side. I recommend the following video. So there's a video there. Then it says here, you can use it with a charge attack to kill a fish and the trophy will pop just like that. There are many other trophies that are cool, like there's a whole Tamagotchi system in the game. There's like, they call them Fishmons, which are kind of like collecting Pokemon kind of thing. There's a lot of really, really cool references in this game to other stuff and fun stuff. But one trophy that I do want to take a look at, uh, just to help you all, all along with it, uh, and let you know before you start playing the game, it's the Leadership Trophy, trained employees up to level 20. And it says here, this is one of the most laborious trophies of the game because it requires an absurd amount of gold coins. Just train one employee to level 20 and the trophy will pop. So you don't, you don't need to train all of them, especially if you're going to spend a ton of money into uh, training these guys. Unless you're, you're in it for the long haul to just play this game naturally, just focus on one uh, and spend the money there. And it says... I strongly recommend that you focus on a single employee throughout the game because of the huge amounts of money is required. The other employees, both in your restaurant and in the branch, level up to 7 to enable both skills. So you have to get them to level 7, essentially. And it says here, to give you an idea, from level 19 to 20, it costs... 99,328 coins. The grind is absurd. Fortunately, there is a trick to maximize your gold earnings and it is using these recipes that we kind of talked about earlier, uh, making these recipes in particular, including the shark ones. Um, these, these three fish needed for the recipe can be easily caught and they re reproduce easily, meaning you can create an infinite supply of them using your nursery. That's another aspect. Uh, of the uh, the process you have a nursery for your uh, in your ingredients and fish and it goes on to say that uh, Rice can be grown on the farm remember to set the rice field to maximum at level 7 this recipe generates eight portions and grants 1,500 gold coins for each dish sold all ingredients in the recipe can be grown on the farm. Remember to use special fertilizers to maximize your harvest and hire the NPC to automatically manage the farm for you. So while you're doing other stuff, you can get all this stuff and get the ingredients and get this max supply. You, you're, this is a very, uh, a lot more sim than I, uh, I realized. You have this whole sim aspect to it where you want to put the right things in place so you can get the maximum yields and you also don't want to do it yourself uh, if you can have an NPC manage the farm for you. Fucking awesome. Definitely do that, especially if you can sell each of these dishes at level 8 for 1100 coins and then you can use that to uh, train your employee faster for the trophy. Done. That's that's a no brainer. Wow, this part really goes through it. Um, and then it also says here, these two ingredients can be grown at respective farms by maximizing the sea people's village farm. You can grow 60 sea grapes per day, which makes this recipe a great third option for coin farming. At level eight, it yields 620 coins. And then they also have here Dunk, Dunk Leostis Sushi, uh, which you need Dunk Leostis Flesh for. Uh, the Dunkleostis is an armored fish found in the glacial area. Use a legendary weapon like Mjolnir and shoot him in the belly to deal damage. When collecting it, always use the rescue drone to obtain 15 meat per run. This method is more laborious than the others, but it's also effective. At level 9, this recipe sells 714 gold coins per dish. An important detail is that is it excellent to focus on her to obtain the diamond rank on Cooksta. After all, she has flavor 378 at the penultimate level. This way, you work in both trophies at the same time. And conveniently, here is that trophy. Influencer Cooksta reached diamond level on Cooksta. And it says here, this will be one of the last trophies you will obtain in the game. 
and you need 720 followers recipe with 375 flavor search 32 recipes and that dunk leostis sushi will definitely satisfy that second requirement so this game is part adventure into the deep swimming and getting um, resources for your restaurant where you want to build up your influencer status where you want to manage the whole back end part of your restaurant where you're getting like your ingredients and you're you're um, producing more fish there's a lot to this game and i'm actually surprised that you can do all this in 25 to 30 hours according to what it says here i'm pretty surprised um that it's going to take that amount of time. I thought it'd be a lot longer. There's a big sim aspect to it. Um, but that's cool. Uh, I'm pretty convinced I want to play this. Because uh, the game looked good. And like just diving into the uh, trophy run. Pun very intended. Very intended. Diving into this. I want to check it out. It looks very fun. Um... I've been waiting for this game for a little while, I heard very good things about it, but let me know if you guys are going to dive into it as well. Let me know if you've played it already on another console, uh, and what you think about it, any and all thoughts. Let me know, that's the Platinum Run. I hope all your Deep Sea Platinum expeditions go incredibly well, and peace out.